Hello everybody, it's your old pal Tuna and welcome back to another video. Today I am riding on a on an adrenaline high because <laughs> literally moments ago I just got back in from the gym. It is just about six o'clock here. Had a nice afternoon of doing some work and doing some not work. And I get in and I fix myself a nice little bowl of yogurt. And what happens? The fire alarm goes off ear splittingly loud. I've lived in this building for about a year and a half and it hasn't gone off in that time period. And I live on the ground floor, so immediately I book it to the front to find out what's going on because I have a cat. And I wanted to make sure that if something was really wrong, I could grab him, haul ass out the door and make sure that everybody's safe. And where is he at this point? He's taken off onto the deck. He's got his own little patio situation and he just pfft. So I head to the front, I round the corner and standing in the middle of the foyer, I see a mother and her six year old kid. The little boy is standing there, hands over his ears, screaming, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And to their right <laughs> is the fire alarm, depressed, pulled down. And in that moment, my panic turns to irritation. I head back to my apartment, I grab my yogurt, I have a few more bites, I make sure that the cat has not jumped off the balcony at this point. And then I mosey on back out to the front, asking everybody, we gotta wait for the fire alarm. I'm telling everyone that a kid just pulled in and there's no crisis about to happen. But the fire department comes, three cool guys stroll in, they reset the system, and here I am now. <laughs> Getting back to my planned evening, it is January 3rd right now. I took yesterday off of filming. I wasn't really sure exactly how I wanted to go about these vlogs from this point forward now that Vlogmas has finished and I don't need to be recording literally everything I do every single day. By the way, hi, as I mentioned, I'm Tuna. If this is your first time here on my channel, I am a full-time illustrator and comic artist. I recently finished Vlogmas. You can check out all 16 videos here on my channel. For January, I have three main things that I'm going to be focusing on. The first one is uh, a few commissions that I have, including one that I'm gonna finish up today. It's like 75% done. I just have the remaining 25% to paint. We're gonna get that off the old to-do list tonight. The second focus that I have is my Patreon. During the Vlogmas month of December, I did sort of feel like some of my energy that I would usually put towards Patreon was stolen away by the time sync that is d filming every single day and editing every single day. So for this month, I am doing the theme Arctic Critters for my Patreon. What I do is a sticker club as well as like a print and other things club. And so for the sticker club, I have designed a super cute sticker sheet just on like the basic theme of Arctic Critters. And then for the big lunch club, I'm going to be expanding on that by creating this kind of like fictionalized app game. My concept is to make it like Tamagotchi slash Neko Atsume, but with Arctic Critters. So some of the rewards for the big lunch are gonna be themed around that. So I'll be working on those things through the next couple of weeks too. I thought it would be nice to take this time to tell you a little bit more about what I'm doing here. This is no ordinary commission. This is a custom painted Fashion Cats toy. So the Fashion Cats toys were a project that I started during the big pandemonium that went on in uh, 2020 and 2021. I realized that creating toys was something that I really wanted to do and so I decided to cross it off of my bucket list and these were the result. I designed two resin cast figures that I have individually painted, all of the painted ones as well as selling DIY kits and this one is extra special because it is a custom memorial piece for a uh, person and their, their 
their little baby. So I feel really honored to be able to bring it to life in the form of a fashion cat. I am using acrylic gouache to paint this figure and I am using my very handy dandy and trusty miniature brush set brushes. You can pick these up on Amazon. If you search that term, you will find them. I have primed the Fashion Cats toy with a spray prime base and I will be sealing it with a matte top coat as well. I really did have a lot of fun painting this. It brings me back to my BJD collecting days when I was in my like teens and early 20s and I am looking forward to painting more of these fashion cats. I'm thinking of doing some one of a kind designs just because I have so many of them. I might as well have a little fun with it. decorating and this mod which is called Chris Orders by you guessed it Copper Sun makes half the mods on Nexus mods and this adds just a ton of new special orders to sell toys we need to bring back this town's proper traditions like the base Provis wants uh, some items to light the sewer so two great now I suppose you'd need to kind of stockpile these in advance if you actually wanted to use them ah good cool no Kwanzaa mo mods, no Hanukkah mods, anything like that. I think it would be very more and make money, of course. I head to the secret woods for the first time and find fishing and, of course, getting to the bottom of the mines. I have time right now and I notice that I have a mission to slay four red slimes. So I do it, get a little pocket change, and I use the last few hours of my day making copper bars, making crab pots from those, and expanding my Going to the secret woods, shut up. I went and bought 105 copper. Again, I feel like it's ocean fishing. Once again, there's new fish to catch. I also do fish ponds, and then I use all that copper we made to make four more crab pots. I also scrounge up the materials to make two front loading all the geode items. I leave with one magma geode and one frozen geode. While I'm going for it, I do catch the octopus, which if you didn't know is the hardest non-legendary fish. A hilariously long time to hook the crimson fish. Thousand gold from it. Next day, our fish pond is done being built, and so I put and that is all she wrote for this little guy. I am very happy to be finished with this commission. I am very happy to be able to be sending it to the commissioner. And it'd be really cool if in the future I could do more custom Fashion Cats painting, but you know, we'll see how things go. I sealed the acrylic gouache paint with a matte varnish spray from Army Painter, and it's glued together with a gel Gorilla Glue super glue. If you're working with anything like this, I highly recommend getting the gel. If you just get the liquid, it tends to just run. And the thing with the liquid is when it dries, it's super glossy, whereas the finish of the spray is totally matte. So you like, you really notice 
when you make that mistake. And then the little whiskers are just some plastic tubes that I sourced from AliExpress. I went looking for like the specifically perfect whisker material and I cut it down to size and there's little holes drilled in the side of the head. But at some point soon, I will get this little baby all packed up and ready to go. My other focus today is in regards to the Patreon stuff that I mentioned. You saw me working on it this morning. As I explained, I'm trying to design a conceptual app game called Chiliville. So the first thing that I did was hopped into my old sketchbook here and doodled out some concepts for what the game would like look like. I have a main menu, I have two alternative uh, environments, and then I also designed a closet and a collectibles pop-up. And of course as I'm going, the most important thing is trying to figure out like logically what sort of interface would be in the game, what would the people be doing in the game if they were playing it, and what would be required of that. So obviously I'm focusing on kind of taking care of these little pets. They need to be serviced, they need to be made happy, they need to be fed. You get to dress them up and then as well in the environment to like incentivize people to keep returning to the game. Randomly throughout the day there'd be little pop-ups that would be like gifts that you could collect, little collectible items that kind of drift in on like an iceberg or on the wind. There'd be trash that you would have to clean up otherwise it would make your little dudes unhappy. Maybe some of the clothing upgrades would show up on the map, and then also coins which you would then spend to get the clothing upgrades in the shop. And like I said, I don't have any programming skills, so I'm having to just do this all kind of visually, and I also have literally no experience in UI design or anything. So I'm freestyling here. Let me show you where I'm at so far. So here is the UI so far. Um, there's one for the shop, there's one for your inventory, there's one for settings. There's one for your achievements and collectibles, and then there's one for like your notes. And then this one's gonna be your happiness meter, and then this one's gonna be the hungriness meter. And then of course we have our currency, which is snowflakes. So those are the coins of this world. And then down here, depending on what creature is on screen, you're gonna have a little kind of headshot detail shot of that critter. Speaking of critters, I have the line work done for the four that uh, I'll be focusing on for this demo illustration set. They're also going to be single stickers, and what I'll do for each of the Big Lunch subscribers on Patreon, they'll get one randomly assigned character, so there's like kind of a kind of a thrill. And I'm gonna give them each names. I haven't decided what names they will be yet. Okay, so I also have the sketches for the backgrounds. This is the forest background. It's just a sketch, I'm gonna be tweaking it. Inside the forest, there's gonna be two variants. This is like the fox variant, so I'll be reusing the assets from here to drop it in there and they kind of like, they kind of tell you what they want. So this one's thinking, I'd really love some berries right now and then berries would be something that you'd have in your inventory. And then there's the polar bear saying snowing again to demonstrate how there can be environmental aspects to the game. And here we have the ice world, obviously pretty, <laughs> pretty plain. And in the ice world, we have the seal who's taking a little nap, don't wake him up. And then the penguin, which will also have one of the items kind of demonstrating how it will look like when an item appears on the map to be interacted with and collected. Anyway, so that was very time consuming. Honestly, I'm having a blast. I'm pretty much done with the UI. I think I'm ready to kind of step into the other stuff, but I figured that the UI, even if it seems counterintuitive to design that first, I think it's going to inform how the color palettes of the rest of the stuff is gonna work. But for the most part, I'm using the color palette from my sticker sheet, which is my monthly color palette, and I'm tossing a few extras in there just to kind of jazz it up. It's four o'clock now. I'm gonna hustle on this till the end of the day, hopefully finish if I'm lucky, though I do have some time tomorrow to do it if I do not make it to the end. But yeah, why don't you come over here and we'll, uh, we'll keep working on it, huh?
ain't going anywhere. Just changing the angle. So you can be in the shop because you're just so handsome, Rory. It's Thursday now. I spent literally all day yesterday working on that little project and I got it all done. Round of applause for me, please and thank you. It's about eight hours of work, which is kind of cool. Being able to crank out an entire project from like conceptual phase to completed in eight hours, just a full day. I ended up with five images. I have my opening main title screen image and then four different environmental demonstrative, like this is what the game looks like type images. I did want to do two extras where I was going to do like a closet where you'd see how you dress up your critter. And then I wanted to do a pop-up to show the types of collectibles in the collectible system. But honestly, why? Why? <laughs> I did this for like no reason. I am going to turn the single animal illustrations into random stickers for my patrons, as I mentioned. And then I'm thinking of, I've been kind of spitballing ideas with people. And I think that what I'll do is create um, a digital download printable sheet so you can like print it out and it will have all of the backgrounds and then all of the characters as single assets and you can cut around them and kind of make your own playset and glue it together and have kind of like a print that you've customized yourself. I don't know if people are gonna actually do it, but I'll whip up a file and put it up for my patrons as well, just, you know, so they can enjoy it. I love to be able to like, create printed versions and send them out to everybody but with the cricket it's like i'm just thinking about how time consuming that's going to be and it's just not gonna happen <laughs> but what a fun project that's like a bucket list project and honestly now i just want to do more i just want to conceptualize all the he's licking his asshole for you everybody thanks snorri i thought i thought we were putting on a different kind of show but here we are now Anyway, I have had this idea to do kind of like an Animal Crossing style game, but you're on a, a planet. So you're like, I don't want to say you're like colonizing a planet because that's not, we're not doing those things anymore, but something along those lines. You have to build up a society on a planet and there's like all these little alien characters. Uh, that's been an idea I've had for a while. So it'd be really fun, I think, to make some conceptual art for that. But put that on the to-do list for someday. He's still at it because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> if you are interested in getting some stickers or some downloads, be sure to check out my Patreon and consider supporting me there. Obviously that is what enables me to do large portions of the work that I do throughout the week. Now, before we go, I uh, received a box. I thought we could do a little unboxing of the product that I ordered just to see you off. I wanna thank you so much for being here again on YouTube. Uh, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, leave me any comments down below. I, your kind comments here on YouTube have meant the world to me, especially on the last Vlogmas video. A lot of you guys came up to say like, I've been watching, blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much. And I will be back next week with another video. I am definitely interested in doing some more non-vlog style content. So if there's anything you want to see from me in that regard, like sketchbook flip throughs or more painting videos or like tutorials or like question and answer, let me know because I am here to entertain. <laughs> but without further ado, onto the unboxing and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.